This one's given a very solid 1140 reading. Hopefully it'll be something better. It's George the Fifth Penny. And something else as well. Another two, another one. <laughs> oh, it's a mini hoard. <laughs> another one, two, three pennies. And a half penny as well. And possibly something else. A sixpence. Marvellous, George the sixth one. Surely there can't be anything else. Maybe it is. That looks like a coin ball to me. Sounds like one as well. And another half penny. And I think that's it. Not bad, first piece of silver. I love finding silver, doesn't matter how old or young it is. That's just the George the Sixth one, but uh, nice condition anyway. And one, two, three, four, five pennies, two half pennies. Five pennies, two half pennies, and a sixpence all out the same hole. That's not not bad at all. I'm only ten minutes into the hunt as well. This one's reading between eleven forty-five and twelve forty-six. So hopefully this will be a a reasonable target. Normally in the forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, uh, it tends to be silver or a big old penny. I'm hoping it's silver. Whoa! I think. <laughs> Oh no, I thought there was two coins in that one as well, but it's not. It's an old penny. George the Sixth. This one's a jumper, going between 10.41 and 8.41, but it's hitting the right part of the uh, screen. Ah, it's an old penny. George the fifth penny. It's a crusty one, but it looks like a George the fifth penny. This is a solid signal of 10.39. And it's a half penny from George the Sixth. And something else as well by the looks of it. Another half penny. Very good. And possibly something else. Let's say another half penny. That looks like it's it. Good strong signal. Reading eleven forty one. Another old penny, George the Fifth. No big silver yet though. I've got a few florins out this field and I'm kind of hoping I'll find a, a nice florin this time, but as of yet it hasn't happened. This one's reading 12.39 and it says it's very shallow.
little coin ball there. That's another half penny, this time George the Sixth. This is reading a 1043. And it's an it's not an old penny, it's two old pennies stuck together. <laughs> I found quite a few uh, doubles and triples and all sorts today. I'm not going to separate them, but basically it's two old pennies stuck together. I think that's all there is in that hole. And this one's reading 1036. And it's another old penny. Feels fairly worn this one. Um, can't quite make out whose it is either. It's very worn. Yeah, oh, it's 18 something, so it must be a Victoria. Looks like an early Victoria. It's only about six inches under the ground. Just dug a very strong 1306 signal here. And got a full live bullet this is a well I know what it is because I've got the same caliber rifle it's a Hornaday 0.17 uh, <laughs> full bullet ballistic tip everything so I'll take it home and I'll fire it off at something this is a very strong 1146 and 11, 1144 signals jumping between the two And we've got a coin ball. I'm hoping that it's silver. Nope. It's an old half penny. Balls. This one's reading Yet another half penny. Very crusty this one. This signal's bouncing around all over the place, but it seems to be settling in the upper right hand side of the screen, so it's worth a dig. It says it's pretty deep as well. Ah, it's silver! Silver, it's about time I found a little bit more silver. And an older one as well. George V Schillen, 1932. Stick that in the coin pocket, clean it up, let you have a look at the end. Incidentally, I found loads of half pennies and pennies and so on. Um, I've videoed them all, but uh, nobody wants to sit through dozens and dozens of half pennies, pennies, threepenny bits and that. So I'm going to edit those ones out. Um, I'll just show you what I've got at the end. It's quite a haul so far. This fella's reading 1246, which is usually a good sign. Um, it's a fairly constant signal as well. It says it's deep, so it may be something interesting. Ah, there's something there. It's, it's a big old coin. Now I did find a Swedish one or coin here from 1737, I think. Uh, a couple of times, uh, uh, either last time or the time before. This doesn't look like one of them. It's probably a big, big old Georgian penny or something. No detail on it. Just big old coin. The signal's reading 1240. Nice strong signal. Silver. It's 
Well, that's the oldest one I've found so far. George V. Sixpence. Ah, uh, oh, it's very worn. I think the date's actually worn off that one. Not to worry, it's silver anyway. Possibly another coin in there, or something else in there. Definitely something else. <laughs> it's more silver. A double silver. George V shilling. Again, that one's, that one's super worn. Uh, 1920 something. It's got a 2 on the right hand side of it there. 1920 something. Very worn though. Nah, that's it. Whilst I'm continuing to film all the half pennies and pennies and everything else that I'm digging out, I'm going to edit them out because I think you've seen enough half pennies and pennies coming out. But this one I've just dug is a little farthing. 1949 farthing with a wren on there. George VI, so that one's a bit different. I'll leave anything in that's different to half pennies and pennies, just to show that I found a little bit of different stuff. But uh, that's quite nice. This is jumping around a bit, but it seems to be settling more or less on 1441, which is possibly a, a decent sign. Certainly off towards the right hand side of the screen anyway, so it's uh oh it's a button. A military button. My god, it looks to be in good condition as well. Looks like it's got a lion and a unicorn on. Yeah, that's in nice condition. I'm not gonna rub it too much. But uh the lion's on this side, unicorn's on that side. Uh, there seems to be a thistle in the middle. Looks nice. Another solid 1239 signal. Probably is a big old penny again. Ah, <laughs> it's not. It's a musket ball. It's the first musket ball I found on this site. In fact, it's the first sign of anything really old. Very good. Well, back home now, and here's the sum of what I found. Pennies, half pennies, definitely bits, the odd bit of silver. Uh, big old bullet casing. Small full bullet. Just a bit of all sorts. I'm going to clean it up and let you have another look. Well, this is the total of what I found. 90 coins believe it or not, in just under four hours. These are all pre-decimal threepenny bits. These are pre-decimal half pennies, pre-decimal pennies. That, I think, is a Georgian penny. Nothing much on it. That's a modern, well, a modern 10 pence. It's not the one we use at the minute, but uh, it's the one Bef it's in between pre-decimal and the one we use now. It's a decimal one, but can't spend it. There are two farthings. Um, what's that? A modern one pence. A half pence. No longer in circulation. Musket ball. First one of them I found on that side. Uh, there's 1938 sixpence. 1932 shilling. Uh, I don't think that's got a date or not. It has 1922 shilling. And this one is another sixpence, but it's got no date. There's a big old cartridge of some old 303 or 308 or something like that. This is the 17 bullet, which is still good, so I'm going to stick that in the box, along with my other ones, and fire it off. And the last thing I found was this button. Quite nice, military button. Can't quite read it, I think it says Deu et something or other. But uh, it's got quite nice detail on it. Very good. So that's it. Four hours with the E track. Uh, fairly pleased with that. Thanks for watching.